Hey guys, today we're hanging out with Chi Chi. You know Brian in a previous episode we went to the toilet restaurant. Oh Chi Chi is his wife. Miha! What are we gonna eat, Chi Chi? Tanga Biko, <laughs> which means it's a uh, pork with rice, marinated in garlic and onion. Then we put some sriracha on it and peanuts powder. Ooh. It's really tasty and it all, it's only like $25 NT. Ooh, let's do this! She's been steaming for a long time. Wow, it's a treasure chest of carbs. Growing up. What is the name of this restaurant? Dongnan. <laughs> it's a small restaurant in Taoyuan. Oh, what is this sauce? Is it hot sauce? It's hot, but it's also sweet. So normally, do you mix it all up first and eat it? I don't like mixing it just because I like to see the original shape of it. So there's no rule to this game. No. And no one's gonna hate on you for eating it the wrong way. No. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. Just get a little bit of everything. I think this is a good ratio of meat and rice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's good. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it mm -hmm. and a savory. Straight up G O O D. Yeah. The very small, tiny shrimp. This oh. one. Yeah. Let's add the hot sauce this time. But it's not hot at all. <laughs> garlic sauce. So you can be more flavorful with garlic. Flavor bomb. Boom. <laughs> no vampires tonight. <laughs> okay, this one is with the hot sauce. It's more sweet than spicy. Mm, but the spiciness it does kick in. Let's have the bite with a lot of garlic sauce. Whoa. Whoa. I love that. Let's get a little bit of pork on there too. Is it garlic? Whoa. <laughs> That's a raw it's strong. Garlic. Yeah, it's like strong. yeah, when you bite into raw garlic, it has that like boom. It's like in your face moment. Yeah. You can tell they smash it themselves. Yeah. To anyone who comes to Taiwan, what do they have to eat before they leave? To me, I suggest you to take a tour to night market because it's not costly and you can get everything there and you can choose whatever you want. What was the name of this place again? Donan. Donan. 10 million drive from Taoyuan Men Station. All right, and then this is a temple. Yeah, right across of it. What temple is this? Jianfu Temple. Chi Chi was saying that this used to be only one story tall, but yeah. they knocked it down and they made it three stories. Yeah. So this is the uh, money for invisible people. <laughs> sometimes for the gods, sometimes for the ghosts, sometimes even for people who pass away. And you pay probably like $50 and you get a bunch of these. These are all money. You see this gold here? and you can um, burn it and to give it to them. So what's next, Chi Chi? Shaolongbao. Oh, <laughs> Shaolongbao! Look at that scene. It's holding. Wow. So can anyone open that? Yes. Brown sugar bun, taro and chocolate bun. Oh, it smells so delicious. These are malai bun. And vegetable. You see, they're almost done because it's from the morning. Every time she opens it, a like smell, the aroma comes out and rises into your face. Oh, what if they have like a, a bun facial? Oh, maybe. Maybe cool if they have like a skin facial. The same thing. Yeah, same facial. So, what do you get when you come here? I usually get shallow mouth, but they also have the egg roll and they have egg tart, twisted bread. Um, this is inside is red bean, this inside is taro. That's a coconut uh, milky thing, sugar cake. Oh, that's Taiwanese pizza? Yes, radish cake, meat bun. That's a pot. And this inside is the chai. Xiao so, ping? Xiao ping. A kind of crispy um, cake. I ordered a savory soy milk. She's mixing egg with it. 
and the hot soy milk will cook the egg. Oh, what is she putting in there now? Chinese donuts. And scallions. So I got the savory soy milk and Chi Chi got the sweet one. Hey babies, come to mama! Look at that steam! Do you get excited when you see steam? Yes. And also because the weather is cool, it, the steam is, you know, exemplified. How is it? I like it because it's not too sweet and you can taste the feet. Oh, you're right. There's like 5% sugar, it's even that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's perfect for girls who want to drink soy milk, but they are also on diet. He really knows how to sell that bread because now I really want some. You could even put some granola in that. You could use that as a cereal milk. Let's try the savory soy milk this time. Yeah. Oh, you need to mix it. Like yeah, this. It's soy sauce underneath. Oh, yes. So, are these clumpy things the egg? Yes. I originally thought that when you said it's a savory soy milk, that it would be a drink. So I just like gulp it down like yours. <laughs> but no, it's more like a food. It has a texture of a um, very soft tofu. Yes. So this time, let's try it with the Chinese donut. Part of it is dunked, soaked with that egg, and then the other side is more plain. That's a nice combo. That silky egg with the friedness with it. This tastes like weekend vibes. Should we have some of the Shaolong Bao before it cools down even more? A little bowl of ginger. Fresh cut. The right way of picking Shaolong Bao is to pick the top. Just this top part. So it's not breaking. When it breaks, the juice come out. So you, if you're putting a spoon, you always catch the juice. The spoon is insurance. Yes. Then I add some ginger on top of it. Is it hot? Chi Chi, what shampoo and conditioner do you use? Such groovy strands you have. You know, it's hard to vlog and eat at the same time. <laughs> There's some teamwork going on over here. <laughs> well, it's for sure juicy. <laughs> I was so distracted by the juiciness that I don't even know how it tastes like. I didn't even think about the flavor. So let's uh, get another bite. It's definitely one of the more peppery shalom bao I've ever tried in my life. And it's also the most verbal shalom bao I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> they like to yell. Are those eyes? The shrimp yes. eyes? Yes. Okay, let's admire this egg tart for three seconds. Three, two, one. This egg tart contains a little surprise on the bottom. Raisins! It's like a sugar grenade. You know what? The best thing on this table I've had? Me too. Savory soy milk with egg. What's the name of this store? So this is a hot pot place we were gonna eat at originally, but we are so full now. And looking at this makes me hungry again. <laughs> Almost. So where are we going now? We are going to a comic book place. So this is a comic place that you used to come to when you were young? Yes. So do you borrow it or can you buy it? You borrow it, but I'm sure you can buy it as well. Everything's in Chinese, but I'm very excited just to be surrounded by all this art. By all these comics. You wanna say hi? She's the boss. <laughs> I like your hair. It's hey, cute. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Shay Shay. <laughs> I'm at an herbal medicine shop owned by Chi Chi's family called Shung Fa. It's my dad's name. 
and my grandpa's name combined together. I see. It smells earthy. It smells healthy. And it makes you feel powerful with every inhale. This is gochi berries. And actually, it has multiple different um, grades. It smells earthy. It's one of those things like when you're a kid, you're like, oh, what is this? But when you get older, you just it feels so comforting. I think I'm gonna cuddle it to sleep tonight. Oh, look at that kettle. So thin. Oh, let it steep? Yeah. This is one of the best gifts ever. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, look at these textures. It's like art. This is like really good with your skin and your lungs, so your breathing. You put it inside water and then you cook it, but how I like to drink it is I, I, I blended it. You could make a smoothie out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Smoothie. What kind of bug is that? Tan. Every seven years, cicada take out of their shell. Actually, the cicada, they didn't die. They just they get out of the shell the and then you collect it. Yes. So I just got a sample of a tea. It says wolf tea. And there is a wolf with a fan. <laughs> Delicate flavor. I could drink this all day. I could drink this in the morning, in the afternoon, uh, before I go to bed. I feel inspired to write a novel. That is so beautiful. That is edible art. George has six different kind of medicine. Wow. And there is a method um, behind how you put these medicine together. They must be similar enough to be put in the same drawer. What happens if you put different types of medicine in the same drawer? Does it mess things up? It's just like how you are organizing your file. You don't put a picture file in more documents. This one's for the JPEG files. This is for the yeah. dog files. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These are finer, finer Chinese medicine, so they cannot put it inside a drawer. For example, like too um, too small, like that. Like even this one? Oh. So they are finer, so um, it's better to store them inside. And these you have to take a cube and then smash them to powder. These are used like very common area. So they can easily access them. In your coffee you can even add this. This one is very expensive. One flower only has Three string. So see how many strings there. It's a lot of flowers. And this is helping you to lower your blood pressure. Yeah. In Michelin restaurant, they put these like just couple string as a decoration for their food presentation. Okay, I'm gonna take this bottle now. <laughs> I'm gonna take this bottle with me. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's very earthy. I found it a little bit chocolate-ish, but dark chocolate. <laughs> it's like a floral bitterness. Yes, but rich. Yes. I feel wealthy every time I sniff that in. <laughs> One sniff costs like a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Oh, we're gonna take a look at the pearl powder. Okay, he wants you to to guess because some are real, some are fake. Oh, why did you put the fake one there? Because we want our customers to be able to tell which is fake and which is real. When your customers come and you're giving them like an education. Yes, yes. Because this is expensive, so a lot of other shops they sell fake one. So we want to educate them so they don't be fooled by other um, store. The cheapest is three thousand mm -hmm. dollars, but the expensive one can go to ten thousand dollars or 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 more. So is it pearl more for cosmetic use or for health? You cannot cure things with Chinese medicine, but you can modify your body condition. So. It can be both, like health-wise and cosmetic-wise. He's saying that because pearl, when you are using it, you make it to a powder. And to eat it or put it on your face. This is the herbal bag. It smells really good. 
Um, it has mint, lavender, lemongrass, like 8 to 10 different kinds of herbal. It keeps mosquito away and also it smells good and it helps you sleep as well. So you just put it next to your pillow? Yes, or you put it um, next to your bag or you put it inside your car. Can I put it like right here next to my belly? <laughs> You have a freaking buffet for mosquitoes. <laughs> Chi Chi and her family just gave me this. Thank you so much. Because I'm going to go back to Bangkok and there are definitely mosquitoes there waiting. A couple minutes later, we got an intense foot massage, then ate more food. Tune into the next Taiwan travel vlog to continue the munchies with us. I also end up sleeping at a love motel. Bye bye!